Hello friends and welcome to another episode from a Roman campaign for the House of Julia. Now, since the last episode, I have ended that turn and I'll just go through, cycle through some of the things that have happened. Yes, rebellion in Patawium. Outraged populace. Oh no. Construction report. War declared between Pergamon and Tylus. Mission issued. War fervor. If we do what? We could take Noria. Well, Noria is going to be tough and I'll show you why. Let's first go to our agents, and then I'll explain kind of what's been occurring here. I'm going to bring her down, and I'm going to be like, where is this thing over here? Okay. Let's come down here and be like, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Let's coerce you into joining our cause. You could do it. She's pretty badass. Oh, you failed. Oh, no. All the humanity. Okay. Kalia Terda, you're landing here near Massalia. Now, you can see that my fleet is no longer there. Again, they came out and tried and, and broke my blockade, and like I said, I don't really care, okay? Because my goal here with this blockade is not to defeat them. My goal with blockading is to just simply bottle up their fleets so they don't cause me any trouble anywhere else. And so once again, we're going to do the dance with them. Do the fleety dance. And for Kana, you're going to go back. Cause them trouble. It's going to be like, hey, you're not getting out. You shall not... Uh, okay. Legio Italica. Well, we could keep you there, or we could go and attack Massalia. If we attack Massalia, lots of fun and happy and amazing, wonderful things are going to happen. So, we could. Let's do it. Let's go and at least besiege them. Yeah, that's, I think, we could. Auto resolve. Well, that would really deplete our forces. How much do they have? Fleet, garrison army, right? And what is this? Garrison fleet. Well, I don't understand why they'd be so. Of course, they probably would just beat the crap out of my, beat the crap out of my uh, fleet, and not really my army, which I don't really care so much about my fleet. I mean, my fleet can be destroyed as long as I take the settlement. I don't care. What we're going to do instead is, for now, we are going to just besiege them, and hopefully, we can make them come out and fight us in the in the field. That will basically negate the fleet. I don't know if that will happen. They'll probably try and run my blockade. Cause me all sorts of trouble, but I don't really care. Well, Kanye, you're coming here. Quickly. Antiqua. All right, this is the problem. Noria is here. And you can see that they have a full stack here. And I'm not so certain as to whether that's a good army or not. But it is an army, and it's a bit of a problem. Now, the other problem is that we have these foolish bastards here, and, well, we have another problem. Actually, we have three problems. This this, uh, this army is raiding. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this army out and kill these fools. And they'll run away and flee for their lives. I will chase them down and kill them all. Yeah, go die. Go die. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I have decided, because if these two armies coalesce, I'm going to be in pretty big trouble. I'm going to be hit from two sides. And probably this army will be crushed, and I won't destroy many of their units. But if I can beat this army, destroy it, or you know, destroy at least as many units as possible, and be able to bring them back into the city, or at least block the path of this army coming to Patalium, then at least I stand the chance of defeating two armies with one. If I sit here, I'm probably going to be bombarded and destroyed and be unable to hold on. So I'm going to take the initiative, and I'm going to hit this army... I could hit this army first. They are force marching. Hmm. Well. If I climb up there, I could be in a bit of trouble when it comes to attrition. But I do not know what they have. It does not appear that they have a really wonderful amount of... But the problem is, is that they have better, better cav and probably more cav than I have. So I'm going to actually fight this unit first, this army first. So we shall. And let us fight it. Again, the reason why I'm doing this is... Because I stand the greatest chance of being able to win at least one battle and destroy at least one army. If I have to fight them both together with one army, I stand a better chance of being completely and utterly destroyed. So, and not only completely and utterly destroyed, but completely and utterly destroyed without destroying any of their of their units, potentially some of their units. Okay, sorry, I adjust myself in my chair because I am preparing myself for battle mode. Um, I could destroy 
In this situation, I could destroy some of their, at least some of their units, possibly an entire army, possibly both armies. Um, yeah, we're going to start deployment. But if I sit there and do nothing, then I'm going to be basically probably just dismantled. And you know, I could put up a decent fight, but my, my chances, I like my chances better when I am the one taking the initiative and kind of hitting them when they're not completely prepared. So that's what I'm going to do. And I already kind of have an idea of what I'm going to be doing here. Well, we shall see. I have I kind of have an idea. Depends on their disposition. But hopefully they'll be fine pigs for the slaughter. Fine, fine lambs for the slaughter. I'm guessing my Triari are going to be very, very integral here in holding off their cav. Because I think, if I remember correctly, they have a great deal of cavalry. I can't see their entire, entire force, but it appears as though they have just simply a long line. Ah, oh, their cav is over here, yes. Two groups. I think they have more cav probably on their right, but in typical Greek fashion. And it appears as though they have at least two groups of cav over here as well. And that's where they have... They have Levy Freeman. What is this? Light Hoplites. We could try to crush their center. Of course, what they did in the last battle, when I tried to crush their center, or hit them in the center, is they brought more troops to the center, and they funneled them in, and they got kind of stuck in a bit of a big bow here. And I was able to kind of pull something of a of a can eye on them or can eye on them so what i'm going to try and do is actually charge their center it looks like their center they have only one line plus skirmishers so if i can at least you know hopefully crush their center hopefully once i get in within range i'm guessing i'm going to have to attack hopefully once i get in range they're going to start bringing these fools down that's the way the ai typically reacts i don't know why exactly but hey that's what they do and that could expose a crack here on their left, which I could exploit. I could hold off their cav, hopefully. Hopefully their cav will rush out and try and attack me. And that'll give me a, ta uh, a, a crack from which I can attack them with my Prinkapes. So, Hestadi will get stuck in first. I'll bring my... Well, I'm ready to go, so let's just, let's just put it into action. Control-A for Control-All, and let's march these lovely, lovely gentlemen up. Okay, and you can walk. We shall see how they react. I am not certain as to what they shall do. This is a very interesting map. Wow. I mean, talk about the abyss. Holy crap. When Friedrich Nietzsche talked about the abyss. I think he's talking about this damn slope. Holy mother. I really wish that I were on top of this and they were down there, but I would still have to come down and attack them, I'm guessing. So, yeah, I, mean, I suppose, like, are they coming towards me? Are they coming towards me? They're adjusting their lines. I think they're just waiting for me to get into view here. They can see all my forces. If they're going to come f towards me, hell yeah. I can just sit there and hold my center. And but I'm guessing they are not going to do that. And they move their cav out into the trees so I cannot see them now. Yeah, they have a much longer battle line than I have. I understand that. But that may actually work to my advantage as I either, hopefully, crack their center... Oh, their center looks really weak. They're almost daring me to attack their center, which has me a little bit wary, but I will still do it simply because that's my best chance of victory. At least that's what, from what I can see. So if I can beat their cav, of course, that'll be a huge advantage to me. And hopefully they'll have to start reinforcing their center once I... I'm guessing that's what they'll do. They'll probably start bringing these gents in, funneling them into the center, and then hopefully that'll create a nice big gap in this general area. That I can at least run some Prinkapes through and then start to flank their infantry and missile units. But we will see how that develops. I am not 100% certain as to how this will develop. Let's see. Their left, actually, well, their left has an extra group of, at least one extra group of infantry. Or their, their right, sorry, that's my left, which, again, is typical Greek tactics. Is what? Hip Messiah Cavalry is this hippiest Lancers. I'm guessing there's another group of either Cav or Hoplites or some some trash back here. And their Lancers are, or their Messiah Cavalry are dancing around and being just utterly stupid, so. Alright. Well, we're getting our men into position, so I'm going to fast forward. Once I start to get a sense for what they're going to do, we'll probably stop. Discuss it a little bit. Just for tactical purposes, educational purposes, entertainment purposes. Yeah, they're, they're daring me to attack their center. I mean, look at that. Who the hell would line up like this? I do not understand. Their center's already weak because they have such a damn long line, and my triplex Aki's could 
I could just march right through them, basically, which I'm not going to do. I would like to give them the impression that I'm going to do that, but yeah, I'm not going to do that. Okay, I think actually, yeah, you guys can stop. We're going to pull our men into position here. Just out of range of their skirmishers. Do we not see their range? Do we not see their range? Well, that's interesting. Okay, well, no bother. Just moving our infantry into position. And my idea here is this. If they're just going to give me the center, I'm doubting that they're actually going to do that. But if they do, well... They can just drive a wedge right here, this way, and a wedge this way, make a big V, and then defeat them piecemeal. I'm doubting that they're going to let me do that, though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, going to screen here a bit with my Velites, as I always do, or I often do. Hopefully hit some of their skirmishers, force them to bring some of these gentlemen into the center. And when they do that, hopefully they'll also react with some cav. Yeah, I'm guessing that they're going to probably try and flank me. That's that's kind of what their setup here is, is that they're going to try and flank me. But I'm, I've got a got a bit of a response for that if they do that. And that is, Hestadi gets stuck in towards the center. I'm going to push in with my Hestadi. Hopefully they'll bring some some men in to counter that. Then I'll bring, I'll probably need to reinforce with at least group, at least group, at least two groups of Princopes, possibly three. But that'll free up, hopefully, at least one or two groups, possibly three groups of Princopes, from which I could exploit some sort of a gap here, hopefully. Hopefully I can either flank here and here and here, okay, once they start bringing these gentlemen in, or if they bring a gap, I can get in behind them and start crushing them. Meanwhile, because I have only my general here, my Ecote is over here, I'm going to use one group of Triari to hold this flank while I bring the rest of my men in, my melee infantry in, and two groups of Triari over here to protect against these cab. Sorry, I just bumped my, uh, my headset. I don't know if you could hear that or not. I bumped my headset. Um, and then... Yeah, basically, once I hopefully hold my flank here, General will be running around giving support and shouting things and whipping his men into a frenzy. And then we'll hit with our Princopes, and hopefully that'll be enough to beat him. At least, even if we lose, the balance of power is somehow in our favor. If we lose, we can at least hopefully weaken this army sufficiently where... their army sufficiently where they will be unable to... they'll be combat ineffective, let's put it that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these two uh, units up. They can walk. Prankapes will be coming behind them, but we're going to wait. I'm going to wait just a tad. Create a little bit of a thing up here. Just to kind of give them a little bit of space to maneuver. Okay, now they can move you up. You can walk. Do not need to run. And Triari. Once we have a bit of space here to maneuver, we're going to give my Triari the go-ahead. And I'm going to start pulling them over probably right away. I'm guessing that cab's going to come out of the woods quickly once they get into range. Yeah, we're going to pull them over now. They can walk for the time being, but basically what I want is for them to be in this general area. Like this. Like so. And I know that looks like it's overlapping my overlapping my uh, uh, my Princopes a tad, but don't care at this point because my Princopes will be moving in. Moving in, this group is moving in like so. Like that. You can walk, don't need to run. We're going to pull my Equites. Equites. Equites, we're going to be pulling them back. And. Alright, you guys can rush up and start hammering their center. Go! As long as they're hitting my Velites, my Princopes, my Hestadi do not need to run. They can continue to walk. Until they start taking fire, until they start reacting, and then we can start hitting them. Marching into position. Yeah, here they come. Okay. So now, oh yes, and that's exactly, it appears that's exactly what they are doing. They're pulling their men to the center to protect their center. Which is perfectly lovely and fine and wonderful and dandy. And Now, we shall see what their cavalry does. I'm guessing their cav will come pouring out of the woods. Which is perfectly fine. I will have my triari, hopefully, ready for them. I'm going to leave my... Velites there for the, for the time being, just throwing, st hopefully they can throw something. Can they not? They're going to get stuck into melee, so I'm going to pull them back. Keep an eye on the woods for their cab. Looks like their cab is coming out of the woods. And it is. All right, well, <laughs> that's what I planned for. Lovely. Okay, so you two, come over here as soon as possible. Get your tallywhackers over here in this general region. All right, and let's start hammering on them. Boom. Give them the feeling that we're actually surrendering our flanks, which is what we're not doing. Amplites, hit them. Hit here. I can appreciate what they're doing here. I, I just think it's futile. But Alright, Triari, you're going to have to get in here quickly. Actually, I want you to be right now. 
Okay, we're probably gonna need a group of Prinkapes as well. Triari, oh, they're hitting my Hestati on the flank. Perfectly okay, don't mind. Now we can hit them, they're stuck in already. Oh, look at this, this is gonna be a cake. I mean, we may lose a few groups of Hestati, but I don't really care so much. Prinkapes, we're gonna pull you over, like I said, two groups for now. And you are gonna have to probably help our Hestati, because they're gonna be hard pressed here in the center. So let's hit them, go. Go. And what can you do? I'm hitting my Triari here, so let's hit these fools. And hopefully this group of Triari is going to be doing fine. But we could bring... Ah, we're losing that group of Hestati already. They're being swamped. But hopefully we can res salvage that situation. Even if we lose our Hestati, you know, no bother. I don't really care so much. Did it break? Oh, no, they're, 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 they're standing tough now. They're holding, hanging tough now. Now we can... Uh, you guys get stuck in. I didn't want you to get stuck in. I want you to pull back. Equites. Stupid bastards. Okay. You guys, I don't want you throwing shit. Stop throwing stuff. I did not want you in. Fire at will. Okay. Pull back, and now charge. Are we winning? We are getting flanked, which I kind of expected. Prinkapes, there's two groups of freaking Prinkapes. I wish you guys could get out of here. And pull back. Over here. Oh, well, let's pull them back and around. Damn it. Okay. That's perfectly okay. I don't really mind. General? Where's my general? Okay, general, I want you. This is the group that was nearly wavering. Where was it? Here? Let's pull you over here. We should be winning over there now. But... Uh, why are you going there? Uh, no. Can you, can, you, can you do anything for them? Give them a second wind, do something. Oh, uh, we're winning over here already. We're beating their cab. All right, we get this cavalry engagement on the left taken care of. We can actually do a pincer on them, which is perfectly fine. I'm going to get my Prinkapes back there and in on the side, on the flank, as soon as possible. Didn't work exactly how I'd planned, but these Prinkapes are doing basically what I had intended. Wish I could get more men there. Concentrate more force, but I can't at this point. Being hit on several, several locations. So... What I want to do is I want to give you... Where is this group of Hestati? That's this group. Yeah, I want to give you second wind. Second wind. I did say wind. But just in case you did not hear me say the duh. I did say duh. Okay. General. Second wind. Come on. And war cry. Huh? What is that? Is that war cry? Intimidate. Okay. And that's war cry. All right. And we beat these fools. Now. <laughs> Triari. Oh, Triari. Lovely Triari. How I love thee. Let me count the ways. There are 360 of you. 360 reasons why I love thee. Alright. Now with these groups of prink these groups of Prinkapes over here, they Oh no. Whoa. Shit. Okay. You. I'm gonna get stuck in here. We're getting hit with some trash, but General is getting gonna get riddled down by their damn missile units, which I hate. So well, Equites, I have something for you to do. Destroy missile units. Get in behind them. They're going to be stupid with their cab and just let the, their cab sit there and be immobile. Then hey, I have no problem with them being being stupid. Enemy is going to be stupid. Hey, do not, as Napoleon said, do not interrupt your enemy while he is making a mistake. Hit him. Hit the slingers. Hit him. Prinkapes, you are stuck in, and I love it. Sorry about that. I meant to swing around, but I ended up getting behind. We are crushing this flank. We, we will start to we will start to roll up very, very soon here. And we will be victorious, and hopefully we will not even have lost a group of Hestati. Once this, once we defeat these fools, I can pull that group of Hestati out. There's only 28 left, but they're still steady. Oh, I love you. My crack units. Not crap. Not crap. I said crack. My crack units. You guys are crack army. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, there's silver chevron up the yin yang. Up the yin yang. Oh, yeah. All right. Hopefully, we can beat this group of. Study. I can do something with my general. Could we charge in here? Beat these fucking lancers. Although, I'm probably going to lose my general right about now. Huh? Boom. And pull him out immediately because I just want to give them a little bit of a morale kick here. He can do lots of stuff, so let's give them 
Second wind. Is it you? No, it's you. Second wind. Okay. And intimidate. Who is who shall we intimidate now? Intimidate. Where are the where are the damn lancers? Lancers. Lancers, okay. You gotta get your self over here though. Okay, this group of Histadi are probably gonna lose it. Well they still have still have twenty seven, they're hanging tough. Okay, can you can you intimidate now? Come over here. Intimidate these damn lancers. Huh? And war cry them. And hopefully they will break. What are we doing? They are confident still, but they are losing men. And we have we won over here. Are these, these guys standing here doing nothing? They are standing here doing absolutely not a damn thing. Well, I like it. I like that because that gives my Prinkapes, these two groups of Prinkapes, free reign to start folding. Folding them up. What is this? Triari, you're stuck in, but you're at a really weird angle. Ooh, 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 ooh. They are adjusting. Well, let's make them adjust. <laughs> these bastards die. White Alpertes, they should break soon. And yeah, they're breaking all the way along their right. Except for right here. They're, they're, actually, we're going to win right in here. Which is perfectly okay. I don't care. I mean, skirmishers? That's what you get for holding line with skirmishers, you damn fools. Ugh, the group of Triari, the group of Hestati is going to break. Pull them back. How many do they have left? 23. Yeah, they're, they're done. They're broken. Hopefully, we'll be able to save them eventually. Possibly. Can you break these damn slingers, whatever they are? Ah, oh, Equites, you are so worthless. Actually, General, can you break these fools? Break these fools, we're going to be sitting pretty. Hmm, that should just about do it. Shattered. Shattered all the way along the line here, and that's going to free up some groups of infantry to, to attack right in here. We are... Beating them up, and they've broken. Okay, so Histati, there are not many of you. This is Prinka. Oh, Prinka Pez. I'm actually quite surprised that we won in this area, but hey, whatever. I don't care. Don't care. I we win, we win. Hey, buddy. I'm not going to complain about that. We have broken a huge gap in their force. If we had any sort of cavalry, oh my God, we would, we would totally de just devour these damn fools. Prinka Pez. I have something for you to do. I have a job for you. Get these Hoplites. You, are you throwing... Oh, you're throwing Pila. You're throwing Pila right into them. Right into their rear. Throw it again. Do it again. Get another group here that's about wavering. But Can you throw more Pila? Okay, well, let's just get in there. Can you throw more Pila? No, you don't have any more Pila. Well, that, that's terrible. Anyway. General, where are you? I don't need my general running kamikaze over here. I want... Oh. Groups of Hestadi are breaking. We need to get my general over there to help. Ah, damn it. Oh, we're getting broken. Come on, can you guys crush these damn sons of bitches? Yeah, we're going to get rolled up here now. Crap. Poop on a stick. You can win. Uh. And, uh. I knew this was going to be a tough battle. We should be able to win it. We should be able to pull it out. Balance of power is in our favor. You throw shit. Throw shit at these fools. They're breaking all the way along the line now. They're nearby. What? Oh, this is not going well now. We got men returning. Can my goddamn Valites? Can you guys move? Oh, I have you. In Freaking skirmish mode, okay. Well, yeah, we're running out of. Just gotta have some units that are breaking here, but I mean, we really. Considering what we were up against, this is actually quite a positive outcome. I was hoping that we could hang on a little bit better, but. You know, we're just gonna. We still not beat these damn lancers. I hate you! Yeah, they're breaking them now. These lancers, hippie lancers. You guys, I don't want you throwing all this shit over there. I want you throwing over here and throw it at these sons of bitches. I'm gonna run kamikaze into these sl oh, slingers. Okay, well, kamikaze it is then. Where are my 
Can you not break these sons of bitches? Oh my god. Pull out of here. Hit him again. Serious, we have one unit? Or what is this? Prankapes. Oh, all those groups broke? Oh. Christ almighty. Okay, well. Yeah, we're winning on the... <laughs> Oddly enough, we're winning on the flanks, but we're losing in the center now. We have only one group holding up against at least two groups of hoplites. Three groups of hoplites. Well, that's not good right now. I'm not happy about that. Let's... General, it's your turn to shine. Lilites, throw stuff. Throw stuff into their back. They are turned backwards now. Interesting, interesting battle. Okay, well... This army was not at full strength when, they att when we attacked them, then. So something that I was guessing could potentially happen. We are winning, and we will win this. It's just what we have left as far as forces to... You not stuck in, You are stuck in melee, but you're turned at a really strange angle. And you're fighting, but you're also at a very odd angle. And I don't know why that is. I have you at a formation attack. You should be able to crush these fools, jackasses. Right, we've won. At what cost, I do not know, but... Okay, let's get you... Stupid, stupid, lovely, lovely gentleman. Get you out of there. You can hit these bastards. Kill as many of these sons of bitches as possible. I do not care what it takes. I want them to die. Oh, come on, Prinka Pace. Throw shit. Triari. I need all of you chasing because I just do not, do not want anyone to survive. Okay, I want as few as possible to survive. And of course that goes without saying, but we killed them all. I think we killed them all. Well, that's lovely. That's what I'm talking about. Way to go, gentlemen. You guys, who are you chasing after? You do not need to chase after horses. That's just stupid. Okay. Another group of hoplites is shattered. General, you're killing what? Oh, that trash. What is this? Slingers and slingers. Okay, well, I think it may be more important that we kill their hoplites. You guys can... Stop chasing. I think you've done enough. Hopefully, probably more bad than good. I don't know. But hit them in the. F yeah, they're fleeing. You should be able to chop them down, chop them to pieces. You get in there instead of running obliquely with them. Why don't you get in there and crush them? I don't care about the stupid slingers. The slingers I can run down and eat. But, alright. Equites. Get your foolish selves over here and kill you some hoplites. Yummy, yummy hoplites. Okay, let's get you down. And the outcome of this battle has got me reconsidering what I want to do at, at Massalia, the settlement Massalia. Just because if that second army does come down and if they meet this army, I'm guessing that their second army, because it is a full stack, and my men will not be replenished in time, will likely be crushed. But that's the calculated risk one must, one must take in such a situation. Ah, just get stuff here. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. All right. Are we, are we destroying these goddamn hoplites? I mean, seriously. Can you, you're on horses and you can't chase these fools down. Kill them all. Kill them all. What is this? Hoplite. What is it? Hop, hop, hop. Okay. Hop yourselves over there, hoplites. What do we have over here? 95. You don't have any Pila. You do have Pila. You should be throwing Pila. Throw Pila. Throw your Pila. Oh, I know. Your heads are down, and you're like, oh, God. We have to kill stuff. We still have to kill fools. Okay, please. Slow them down to something. Kill them as quickly as possible. Okay. Not going to do much if you're running away from them. Okay, well, they have fewer, fewer in that group than in this group, so let's kill these bastards. Principes, you can just come back over here. You can walk. Don't care. You guys have got to be exhausted. Yeah, you're absolutely exhausted. You're moving fast, but for cavalry units, for cavalry units, that's not fast. I like how they plow into them and they just drop. That's nice. All right, well, let's eat them. Eat them and go home. General, we killed all. Just put all that we can. All right. Well, let's end the battle. I'm sure they're going to say that that was a close victory and it was costly and Pyrrhic and all that bullshit, but 
It was very important. They have fewer than 700 left in that entire force of over 6,000. And we were outnumbered, and we lost a few due to friendly fire. A few too many. About 100 and what? 113? But still, I mean, there is much left, and hopefully we will be able to at least at least give it a good old college try when that second army comes down from Noria. And I'm sure they will. I'm certain that they will come down from Noria and be a bunch of bastards, probably. And I did not lose a single unit. They will have to run away. I'm not going to chase them. Well, I could chase them. I could chase them, but that would leave a settlement open to attack. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull you, lovely gentlemen. How far? If I put you in forced march, how far could you go? Only that far. And you would be vulnerable to being attacked either way. So I'm going to leave you there. I'm going to pull this army here. Okay, so leave them in Patawium. Yeah, we're going to have another. Let's pull it in Patawium. That will keep, hopefully keep me from having a another damn uprising. But at least we've got those armies there. They're mutually supporting. And now let's we could probably just let's see. You know what? I'm going to just... Yeah. I mean, I could do this, but I'm sure it's going to be choppy and shitty and stuff. So let's... Alright, uh, let's just... Boom. I know we're going to probably lose a few units, especially in our fleet. Yeah, my entire fleet was destroyed. Wow. Okay, well, good work. We did win. We lost an entire damn fleet, but... Oh, that fleet's going to be a big pain in my rear end now. Uh, okay, well... I don't know where they're going to go, but they are experiencing attrition, which is helpful. Well, you know what we're going to do then? We're going to go over and build another fleet as soon as possible. But, friends, I'm going to save that for the next episode. So, we have taken... Well, what have we taken? We've taken Massalia, the settlement of Massalia. So, I'm going to... I do have plenty of coins, so I'm going to just right away go ahead and convert that. Convert that and give you that. What is that? A public forum. So give you another public forum. Give you a lovely temple. And probably give you an aqueduct. Alright. And that is all we shall do for this episode. I, once again, thank you for viewing. And hopefully you enjoy the battle, even though it was a slobber knocker. It was a slaughter. Uh, we did come out victorious. And that's really the main thing. So, hopefully they will come down out of Noria and attack me. And hopefully they will attack Patawium, where I have a full army. If they do come back and Try to fight me here. Well, I'll just have to hold on as best I can and hope for the best. And if that army's destroyed, well, I'll just have to build a new one. So, recruit a new one. So, once again, thank you, friends. And I will see you again very, very soon. Autogalius Magnus, signing out.